The topic for this segment is joint replacement of the hip and knee. The first modern era total hip replacement was done by Professor John Charnley in England some 50 years ago. The ability to convert a stiff and painful joint into one that moves freely and restores the ability to walk, work, and play without pain is one of the true miracles of the last century. Now more than 250,000 total hips and 600,000 total knees are done each year in the United States alone. Total knee replacements now rank as the second most commonly performed procedure by volume in this country. Only insertion of cardiac stents is done more frequently. Let me show you what an artificial hip looks like. First we have here a model that replicates the normal human hip joint. The blue color reflects smooth articular cartilage on both the femoral head and the acetabulum, which is the socket portion of this ball and socket joint. Now when arthritis sets in, a very different picture emerges. The smooth cartilage is now rough with pitting cavities where raw bone is exposed on both the femoral and acetabular sides. This creates a high friction interface, which is the source of the pain that someone experiences with an arthritic hip or knee. The exact same process occurs in the knee. What happens when a replacement is done? The reconstruction to replace the function of the normal joint occurs by creating a cavity in the hip into which a metal shell is impacted and creates a direct interface between titanium bone and the pelvis. Into that is inserted a polyethylene plastic liner which provides the glistening surface replication of the human articular cartilage. On the femoral side, a stem is inserted into a cavity in the femur, which is created by special reamers and instruments. This tapered stem then locks into the femur, again without the need for any acrylic cement. Onto the top of that device is either a ceramic or cobalt chrome metal head, which permits a low friction interface between the two surfaces. Here, if I may, I'll show you what an artificial knee looks like. You can see the very smooth, glistening metal surface where a cobalt chrome device is inserted onto the end of the femur and another device is placed on the tibia and a ultra high molecular weight polyethylene, which is the plastic that serves as the workhorse of modern joint replacements, both of the hip and the knee. A successful joint replacement of the hip or knee is often the key to return to work, including occupations like NFL referees, carpenters, plumbers, military officers, and even doctors and nurses. With arthritis, as we just saw, the cartilage surface erodes away and results in direct contact of raw bone against raw bone, which is very painful. Even rolling over in bed is uncomfortable. Inability to sleep well is one of the most common symptoms in patients with major joint arthritis. This has implications for almost every aspect of life, including the ability to concentrate, mood disturbances, and irritable interpersonal interactions. Let's discuss questions that almost anyone with arthritis has. Do I really need surgery? How long will I be out of work? When will I be fully recovered? Is it dangerous? How long will I be in the hospital? Some patients need surgery right away. For instance, after a fracture of the hip joint, or if the damage to the joint is severe, or if there are secondary problems with the back because of the hip, prompt surgery is indicated. After surgery, many patients can return to work within three to four weeks. For strenuous occupations, of course, more time is necessary for strength conditioning. Professional golfers, for instance, can return to competition often within three months of the surgery. Most patients are very happy at three months, but research has shown that up to a year is required before near normal status has been re-achieved. The main complications of surgery include blood clots in the legs, infection, bleeding, fracture, nerve injury, and dislocation. Fortunately, the incidence of complications is low and the success rate of hip and knee replacement surgery is quite high. Over time, the devices can wear out and require replacement. This is called revision surgery. For the initial hip replacement or knee replacement, hospital stays vary from one to three days for routine procedures. 
One of the most important decisions is finding a good surgeon. Fortunately, here in San Diego, there are many fine surgeons. Check with your trusted personal physician, friends in the medical community, including operating room or orthopedic nurses, and friends who have had the surgery. You may have an insurance plan that restricts access to only a few surgeons. These may be very competent surgeons. You may also have the option to switch to another plan with wider access to other surgeons. Once you have found a surgeon you trust, you can look forward to a remarkable transformation in your life. If you have any doubts, always get a second opinion before the surgery. And remember, you can always pay personally for a second opinion with the doctor of your choice.